put it this way, we've not been able to contact uh, about three or four people. Um, I think uh, they're probably uh, gone, but uh, because, but the communication ability is, is broken at this time, hasn't been restored. So it's difficult to know. We, we grieve. We have, uh, we have members of our church who had family there. They weren't attending our church, but they they had family, uh, one couple, one family in our church. Their uncle and cousins were all were burned to death in a car. Uh, different things like that. It's it's been a, uh, it's been and just even in the first week, which is really we've only been one week into this or so. Uh, and we um, th- there's been some wonderful things that God has done in spite of the tragedy. Let me tell you one story. We had a, one, of the, one of the families, that, the tourist families that were here on Maui. Remember when this thing happened, uh, the government had them all leave their hotels and put into a shelter. So we had a Muslim family that came to our church and he said, my religion doesn't do this. We love what you are doing here. We, we want to love your God and give toward this ministry when we return home. We thought, well, that's that, that's part of the love of God reaching out to people. We had uh, local families who, from Lahaina that stayed with us, and they didn't even want to go to the hotel when the governor opened the hotels for the displaced fa- families. They wanted to stay at the church, and we've been able to minister to over a thousand people by giving shelter and and clothes and supplies. We fed over thirty five hundred people, and on and on and on. That it goes on. That's only in the first week, so. It's a big deal. God's doing some. One of the interesting things is we have uh, we received thank you notes from people that were here, and they were on. They were from the mainland, and they were dropped off at the airport because they had to leave, but they didn't have flights. So they were put in our shelter, and they um, they were so overwhelmed by the generosity of the people here that uh, they just. Uh, couldn't say enough. We're, we're just thankful we're here. We're thankful we can be God's hand extended in the midst of this crisis.